And are we live? We're live. Hello. It's Carol and Lisa at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Hello, everybody. We're here for another edition of Singing Sunday. If you're first time listeners, welcome. And if you're correct, maybe better. Could be Wi Fi issues, so bear with us. Well, it won't be Wi Fi because I turned it oh, off. Oh, not Wi Fi, sorry. <laughs> it's not Wi Fi issue. It's so. the non, non Wi Fi issue. <laughs> Oh, we're seeing froze again. Okay. So that this is, something. yeah, <laughs> this is beyond my, what I like to say, above my pay grade. And it comes to troubleshooting technology. I'm not the best. So I'll hand that so over to you. To yeah. there. So be patient with us out there. Oh, Deb says better now. Facebook thanks, thanks, Deb. Madison says, yay, it's back. Okay, <laughs> awesome. All right, so we are headed to Sapphire Tiger. This mess here. The Jasmine Tiger. Hi, Jasmine. Jasmine, I did sing to you. I don't know if you remember. You got a song too. But I promise I'll sing to you again. That way we can see her in the background. And you can hear it too because we'll be so close. All right, I have this really interesting roll up keyboard. interesting little setup we have going on here. And I'm going to take my mask off so that you can hear me too. There we go. All right, so it's kind of an obvious choice today because it's white Christmas. <laughs> and I do want to say, um, I was thinking a lot of, as I was singing this on the way over this morning about it's really hard this time of year. I'm feeling a little melancholy because with COVID, I'm not going home to see family um, this year up in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio is where I'm from. And I am more used to a white Christmas, that kind of weather. So it was resonating with me very much um, today as I was singing it. So. I'm going to dedicate this to Natalie and Veronica, my daughters, my mom, my brother Larry, all my friends out there. This is for you. And you've and got her Sapphire. watching right from behind and you there. <laughs>
children listen to hear in the snow She really looked like she was dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should have brought those sleigh bells you were talking about. <laughs> I have them on my ears. <laughs> I was telling Carol, this is my favorite Christmas sound. I absolutely love sleigh bells. So I have lots of I have earrings that jingle. I have these. I have necklaces. I have wristbands I wear that have bells on them. And I play the piano sometimes. So, yeah. so I want to explain a little bit about Sapphire for those of us out there who might be new not know about sapphire and her story I'm and just turn white around tigers here so that she's in, yeah, in the sure. background white tigers in general um so i picked white christmas because she's white but really being a white tiger is not a naturally occurring event and unfortunately white tigers exist because of people um, doing inbreeding of tigers to um, force this um, recessive gene to happen and to create tigers because they're unique and basically for monetary reasons so they can have people pay to take pictures of them and that sort of thing so if you can imagine it is like a lottery um, you're breeding these tigers and it's done through inbreeding only and you're not always going to get a white tiger every time you're attempting so then you end up with all these what we call throwaway tigers in this process and nobody ever tracks what happens to them um, there's, it's really, that's the awful, awful story of tigers in this country and what the Big Cat Public Safety Act is trying to correct is that there's no tracking. Tigers are just bred and bred and bred and kept in captivity and there's no way of uh, tracking how many there are. Um, they can cross state lines, be sold, they can be um, worse than that, uh, sold for parts um, on the black market where there's interest in tigers for um, sort of ancient traditional medicines in Asia, uh, canned hunts, uh, cub petting. There's just any number of horrors that tigers can be exposed to and be used for. So Sapphire's story, even though we say she's beautiful, um, she really shouldn't be white and really no tiger should be white. Uh, if you think about it, they live in the jungle and a cat looks the way it looks for camouflage because it's a predator. So if you're trying to sneak up on your prey as a tiger in the jungle, uh, being white is terrible. Um, you're not gonna survive. So that's why it's a recessive gene and why it is not um, persistent in, tiger, um, in the tiger world. So Sapphire came from Ohio and she came with Duchess and Jasmine next door here and Jinx the Black Leopard. And they were all four, um, kept here for about four years before we knew they were gonna get to be here forever and this be their forever home. And that was a very happy day. I believe it was April 30th. And we were all very happy. Um, what happened was they had been confiscated in Ohio because Ohio has really good laws that are enacted on but the owner was persisting and trying to keep them. So through that time they were living here, but they were not official permanent residents. So when that case finally got settled, um, they got to stay here forever. So I'm as seeing you can her see. enrichment there that's been all torn to pieces. Yeah. So in the background, you'll see what looks like paper and cardboard box. Um, that is a type of enrichment that we give the cats here. It's all, um, 
very safe is cleared by our um, staff that knows about these things what kind of paper and cardboard box so it doesn't have staples or you know weird paint or glue on it or anything and they make these really interesting enrichments I know uh, hopefully some of you got to see King Tut's really adorable house <laughs> that he's in right now uh, so they have a lot of fun it's obviously the cats don't know that it's Christmas and they don't know they're supposed to have um, Christmas type things but they do always enjoy a good cardboard box and something to roll around in it's usually got some kind of good smell to it um, either perfume or one of their favorite um, catnip could be cinnamon the tigers seem to really like cinnamon so they have a good time with that <laughs> and they got I think she yeah, she has her tree as well she's got her Christmas tree so another enrichment they get every December they get a pine tree and I love the way pine trees smell and I'm not a cat so <laughs> so cats are even more scent stimulated so the way things smell is really important to them really good for their mental health as well as their physical health we try to keep that happening for them because reality is they're still living in captivity even though we try to do the very best we can for them and try to offer them as many um, options for having wild behaviors that they might have if they were in the wild we cannot possibly replicate that here we don't have the space or the habitat to do that so we do these things to just keep them mentally and physically happy and healthy so we appreciate all you out there and your donations and your support that help make all of this possible for us. Couldn't do it without you. And I do want to let you know that on December 23rd and December 30th, those are both Wednesdays, we're going to be doing a kids tour at one o'clock. Um, I will be off school as will most kids around the country. So if you're looking for something fun to do um, with kids, have them tune in and we'll be sure and mention that um, again in the time between now and the 23rd. All right. Thank you very much for being here. Have a perfectly awesome week and we'll see you next Sunday. Thank you. I'm going to zoom in on her as you pack your stuff. <laughs> One last look at the sleepy, sleepy sapphire. You can really see it with the lighting on her, how it looks like her eyes are open because of the way her stripes are. Right. Yeah, it does. It was really kind of perfect that she just laid there like she was dreaming. <laughs> and like she thought this was perfectly normal to be serenaded. Right, exactly. Thank you, everyone.